Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create compound paths in Illustrator CC. What compound paths allows you to do is to, you know, gather objects or shapes or different paths and combine it into one shape and one element. And then Illustrator will recognize that as that one object, which is really handy when you're doing like gradients or effects, um, or you have too many elements and you just want to make it one piece, which is pretty cool. So what I've got here, I've got some type. And what I've done, I've just went to object and expanded it out. And so created some outlines. And you can see that um, these are just a shape. And what you can see here is that um, the gradient is going across each letter, not across the whole word as itself. So it recognizes each as separate letters. Even though it's grouped together, you can see if I select it, it's grouped. But if I use my direct selection tool using A, you can see I can select them individually and I can go in here and edit the gradients by themselves, which can sometimes be annoying when I'm working with gradients. So what we're going to do, instead of doing it this way, you can make a compound path which will make the word one object. So I'm going to select this type and you can go to object, compound path, make, or you can press control eight for the shortcut key. So boom, just like that. Now this is a compound path and you can see the difference between this not being a compound path and this being compound path. It affects all the letters and makes it one shape. So Illustrator recognizes this as one shape and then I can move the gradient and it's going to affect the whole object by itself like that. So it's a, you can also use it with um, objects as well. As you can see here, you can see here, I've got all these objects. I can group it together, but I still have to go in and edit these gradients just like that. And it's going to be not effective. So with this one, I've created a compound path and it's going to affect all these shapes, as you can see, just like that. So we can change the color. It's going to affect all of them. But if I don't want it to be a compound path, I can come out of it. The shortcut key is alt Control shift eight or you can go object, compound path, release. So now these are just separate shapes. So I've got to select them all to change the colors or gradients, whatever I want to add to it. And you can see now it's compound path, but I can just go in, select it, press control eight, and now it's compound path again. So yeah, that's how you use compound paths, guys. Let me know in the comments below if this was useful and don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.